After game five, <laughs> Suns coach Monty Williams said his team played with a, quote, show up mentality in the first quarter, while the Clippers played with, quote, desperation. So, Perk, who needs to step up for the Suns in game six tomorrow night? Well, it's two people. One, I talked about this yesterday on the show with, mm -hmm. with you guys about CP3 and his legacy. Well, his legacy is still on the line about blowing 3 1 leads. And here it is, he's the head of the snake, and he has the opportunity to capitalize on the moment, and he needs to. The second person, where's Jay Crowder at right now? Right? Jay Crowder has been phenomenal throughout the postseason. He was really good against the Denver Nuggets. He's not doing anything. I think he, I believe he's like, Averaging four points in this series. I believe he's shooting like four for 26 from the three or something to that nature. He's not defending because Paul George is having it his yeah. way. Reggie Jackson is having it his way. So I'm looking at these two veteran guys of this young team, and they have to elevate their game and set the tone. I, I actually agree. Like, I, I think Jay Crowder's got to do more. Jay Crowder knows he has to do more. This is not something that, that isn't, in, isn't getting voice to him. Mm -hmm. But the two people I think need to step up are – Chris Paul and Devin Booker. You talked about when yeah. Devin Booker's in 11 elimination games, he's averaging a 40 piece. Like, that's ridiculous. And I'm not saying that that's what it gets, but everybody knows this in this league. First round, like, elimination games are easy. Second round games are a little <laughs> bit harder. The, like they're, And then the finals, putting a team out the further you go. But this isn't an elimination game for the Suns, and isn't that part of no, it? I, I mean, it's not shocking to me that the Clippers came out with more desperation than the team that was up 3-1. Yeah, well, I'm more talking about eliminating a right. team. Oh, like, I know, but, but that, I, I just think that it gets harder and I think like as much as Devin Booker and some of these young players have raised their level guys there's more levels to go to win a, a, an NBA championship you're going to go against the Bucks or you're going to go against the Atlanta Hawks so it's like what you did last round it's got to go harder you got to go harder you got to keep pushing yourself so those are the two guys if Chris Paul and Devin Booker show up there hasn't been a time where those two showed up and played at a high level where everyone else didn't fall in line I would just say this look we talk about the comebacks from 3-1 you obviously Richard were part of the team with the most famous one of all we talked about perk you mentioned that chris paul has been on the wrong end of 3-1 mm -hmm. comebacks we talk about them because they're notable it's not what usually happens yeah. what often happens is either it becomes quote a gentleman sweep right a four to one kind of thing or it becomes where hey the team that's up three to one gets a little bit like either tight or just doesn't play as desperate as the team that shockingly is going to be eliminated and therefore is very desperate and so the team that's down wins and then more often than the other way the team that's leading ends up winning the series those are just the numbers so just because the Suns came out less desperate in this game last night I don't feel like that's an indication of how the rest of the series is going to go it's kind of how it usually goes not all the time but more often than not this is what we see and now we'll see what the Clippers can do at home on their home court thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus